So researchers have been sneaking secret messages into their papers in order to try and trick AI peer reviewers. So um, AIs are sometimes involved in peer review at the moment. And the idea behind this is if you can give them a secret instruction, and in this case, it's often written in white or in really, really tiny font. If you can give it an instruction which tells an AI reviewer to give a good review, then that is what the outcome will be. And it's really a kind of way of gaming the system that people are trying. And while this sounds worrying, this should be relatively easy to spot, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it comes up even in Google searches, right? And so that's how I found all of these different papers. Um, it's whited out text or it's really, really tiny text. So you can't see it if you're just a, you know, a human who's, who's reading this article. But, uh, but a computer and a machine can see it very easily. And while the aim is to get a good peer review, I suppose, does this actually work? Really good question. Um, I had a good time with Chris Leonard, who's an expert in peer review and AI, and we were trying out lots of different models to see how affected they were by these kinds of prompts. And we found that some were and some weren't. So one that was particularly affected was chat GPT. But of course, you know, if publishers are using these kinds of tools and, um, you know, you'd hope it's not being used completely on its own without human involved, then they can program into the tools also to to look for efforts like this to gain the system. It should be quite detectable, but of course it's an, an arms race. So as soon as it's being detected, maybe the people who are doing it will also get more creative. We don't know.